Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome to the official 2021 manga collection. This is spring, we're in May of 2021. Not only is this the first collection video of 2021, but this is also the last collection video in this location. Uh, in this room with these bookshelves and all this chaos behind me, which you guys will see momentarily. Um, I just want to spend about just a minute or two explaining a couple things. My next collection video will be after I purchase my house and I'll have a totally new setup. All these shelves will be like Billy shelves. Uh, I just don't have the space right now to have all Billy shelves. So these are all different sizes, all different colors. It's very disorganized. Most of these shelves are even double stacked. The reason why I wanted to record this video was because of how chaotic it is right now. I want to do a reorganization video once you know, I'm, I'm out and, and buy, you know, I have the new shelves and everything and I'll kind of show you guys the difference. And last thing before we get into here, because I know you guys just want to see the, the, the manga, a lot of these series I have not fully read or started yet. It's because I get these, I get these volumes for so insanely cheap. I'm talking dollar per volume or sometimes even less, but usually a dollar to five dollars a volume. I buy a lot of stuff used. Most of the stuff is not, uh, it's not new, so I'm not paying retail even. If it's new, I'm usually getting a discount on it. This is also about uh, two years of collecting I think or a year and a half something, something like that so don't think that like all this stuff I got right away brand new for retail please keep that in mind while you're watching this video I I want you guys to enjoy the video but I also don't want you to be um, in this mindset of you need to collect as much stuff as I have in in like a fast-paced timetable everyone collects at their own pace some people don't have as much opportunity to purchase manga whether it's new or used so personally I would just be happy with what you have so yeah now that we have that out the way let's uh go ahead and get started I'm actually gonna bring you guys over here and see the first shelf Alrighty, so the first shelf we have is this black bookcase. You can see right here, uh, we have Prison School, Volumes 1 through 11. We have Rave Master, Gintama, My Hero, Team Up, which should actually probably be down below. I don't know what's right, what's right there. But then we have Hunter Hunter, Volumes 1 through 36. Apologize if it's a little dark. But then we have Reborn, Volume 8, Ultimate Muscle, Volume 3. Unfortunately, I don't have any more of those. Uh, Promise Neverland Volume 1, and then the rest are down there. Uh, this is the last shelf down here, and then we have My Hero Academia all the way to Volume 20. Now, I don't really have these in any particular order. Um, I think the colors just kind of match, so I kind of put them together. You'll see that uh, throughout this video. It's not really exactly an order of things, but a lot of really good series. I've read all of My Hero, all of that Promise Neverland. Hunter x Hunter, I'm still working on it. just finished that recently. And Rave, uh, Prison School, I got for really, really, really cheap, so I am going to read that eventually. Um, that's another thing, too. All these series I will read eventually, but you know, you can't read everything at once. So we actually have some figures up here, which I'll tell you guys. So we have the um, same figures that I've had for a while. You guys have probably seen before, but yeah, just a couple pops. And then uh, we have our first shelf, which is double stacked. I'll show you guys behind it after we get through what's in front. So we have Classroom of the Elite Volumes 1 and 2. I just got two recently. Slam Dunk, I have almost all of. I'm missing Volume 19. Which is a pain because I really want to read the series, but I don't want to read it if I don't own volume 19. So I'm waiting to pick that up to start it. Zatch Bell's up here. That's just the volume I'm working on right now. I will right, we'll see that in a minute behind these. But next we have Ajin volumes 1 through 16. I have read all the way up to 15. I'm waiting till 17 comes out. That's the last volume. And then... I'm just going to end up reading uh, 16, 17 together. Uh, Ajin is a fantastic series, highly violent, really, really good. Pipochu is another manga, which I'm still waiting on one more volume. Uh, the third volume, which I think is a little expensive, but I was able to get these for absolute steals. It might have even been free from one of my awesome subscribers and followers on Instagram when I bought some stuff from her. But this is actually made from a American mangaka and, and it's definitely uh, very interesting from what I hear, but I kind of try not to know too much about series sometimes before reading them. Uh, next we have Quintessential Quintuplets volumes 1 through 12, sorry. Not fully up to date, I think 13's out right now, and I'm about halfway through this series. I'm just waiting for the last couple volumes to come out and binge, to binge read, something that I commonly do. Next we have Requiem the Rose King volumes 1 through 5, focus in here. Um, there's some more volumes behind it, which we'll see in just a minute. And then down here, we have Classroom of the Elite. Sorry, no. Assassination Classroom Volumes 1 through 11. I read all this really, really good, but it's only halfway through the series, so I do need the second half of the series. I don't know if I'm going to sell these and get a box set or whatnot, but... Next, we have Blue Exorcist Volumes 1 through 7. We have... One Punch Man, and then Black Clover Volumes 1 through 10. Like I said, this setup is not good. 
but this shelf is actually one of the better ones. Then Yu-Gi-Oh, we have a couple Omnis right here, and I think we have some more Omnis behind it. But the manga for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is really, really good. Uh, also, Black Clover is fantastic, but I'm still missing about half the series right now. But I'm not sure if you saw, if you guys saw this on top, but Slam Dunk 31 and then Fire Force this is the Aki Bento version. Black and red, this was on top, but uh, yeah, let me show you guys the rest of the shelves. Alrighty, and there's no really rhyme or reason which volumes are in front and which are in back. As you can see, you know, we got Fire Volumes in front and Fire Volumes in back, but top shelf we have Kurosagi Kur Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service, um, Omnibus 1 through 4, then we have Gunsmith Cl uh, Cats Volume 1 and Trigun. Maximum uh, omnibuses one through five, and this is an example of manga which I own but have not read yet. But I got all of these volumes for five dollars a piece, so I actually wanted this one really, really bad. And so I am going to start that soon. But I think there's actually a, hopefully a new omnibus that's dropping soon because there's going to be enough volumes. But yeah, I mean, just really crazy deals on some of these. Next is a series which you're familiar with my channel. You, you've heard me talk about many times. Uh, but we have Zatch Bell Complete, Volumes 1 through 25, with uh, Volume 5 obviously being right here. But this is definitely a pride and joy for me to have Complete because it was definitely not easy. And this is not my... Uh, first complete set that I've owned. If any of you guys didn't know, I actually had a whole set 1 through 25. I got it for a fantastic price off Macari. Then the volumes came in and I realized that uh, there was cat pee all over the volumes and that was a whole long issue which resulted in me getting like semi banned from Akari. But if you guys want to watch that video, I'll probably put it in the description, so definitely check out that video. But you, you know, with my with my channel you kinda of get random content like that, so hopefully you guys uh will appreciate some some unique content. Then Recreate on the Rose King volumes six through thirteen, but I'm missing volume twelve. I need to get that. I've heard really really good things about the series. I hear it has some like Game of Thrones type themes so definitely, definitely, definitely really interested to read this. Uh, it's also a genre, which is something that I typically don't read. Next we have I Am A Hero, Omnibuses 1 all the way through 11, so that is complete. Uh, very happy to have this complete. Dark Horse said they were going to be printing more, but they have not uh, started printing more, at least not the later volumes, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully they do reprint it because I really don't care about the value. I'd rather you guys be able to experience these volumes. Next we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Omnibuses, or Volumes 1 through 9, so this was the earlier Omnibuses. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga is definitely really, really interesting. It has some aspects that you probably have not watched before, because it starts off before the card game, which a lot of people have not experienced. If you go on YouTube and search Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 0, then that's kind of what uh, where the manga starts, but I, I hate Yu-Gi's voice in that so much that I could not watch that. So next, moving on to this shelf right here, we have Dragon Ball Complete Box Set. The first box set I ever owned, actually. This is unfortunately kind of one of my uglier shelves I have. Uh, every it's by the same mangaka, but I just don't have the room to fit all of these volumes um, So I kind of have them stacked a little weirdly, but in the front we have path of the assassin with lone wolf and cub behind them They are plastic wrapped just because that's how I got them They're not plastic wrapped, but they're in like bags And I just haven't taken them out and some of these are plastic wrapped, but it's more path of the assassin Then we have some samurai executioner and the remaining lone wolf and cub volumes uh, Once I have a better spot to fill all of these uh, it will look much better, but you know, things are what they are right now. Next, we have Ice Shield 21. I apologize if there's a mean glare on these volumes, but Ice Shield 21 volumes 1 through 37. This is a series that I am going to be getting into very, very shortly. Super excited to read this. This is a quite a hard series to collect nowadays. I think volume 26 is like super, super expensive. I know someone who sold volume one for like $70 recently. So uh, the, the prices people are willing to pay for the series are just outrageous, but hopefully we get a reprint soon. I have no idea what business planning. Next we have Helsing volumes one through 10. I actually have a Barnes and Nobles exclusive volume one over there, hardcover. And then I have a volume 10, I believe that is. Yeah, volume 10. In Japanese. This was a set that I got in a, a huge Dark Horse used haul, and I think these were like either a dollar or under. So definitely got a huge steal on these. And then Battle Royale, which is pretty much complete. I have already read this manga, I and mean, I've kind of just been piecing it together within the last two years. I think I'm just missing volume 13, it looks like. Uh, there's a couple volumes I wouldn't mind replacing because of, you know, they're just kind of um, not in great condition, but I mean, I'm not really too worried about that right now. Uh, Battle Royale light novel or 
novel. I wouldn't really call that a light novel. I mean, you see how chonky that boy is. Then we have, well, yeah, we have uh, we have this one, <laughs> which is actually a fantastic series. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already. I know TikTok made it super famous, so most of you guys are probably already very familiar with that series. Next on the bottom shelf, we have Dead Man Wonderland. This is a really, really good series, only 12 volumes. I highly recommend checking it out. You can get it for a pretty decent deal too. I've seen uh, used sets go for like 60 bucks, so highly recommend checking this out. It's kind of slept on because the anime is not that good, so most people probably don't think the manga is going to be, you know, that great, but the manga goes way past the anime and has a totally different ending, so highly recommend checking that out. Next we have Blue Period and Blue Flag. Both of these are pretty good. I'm waiting for volume three of Blue Period to come out and then Blue Flag I think there's like maybe I think I'm two volumes behind and then there's like only one or two more coming out so I've read up to I think volume four but I'm just gonna wait for the other ones to come out and then binge. Next we have Maiden Abyss. Um, one of my more popular videos on my channel is actually like a Maiden Abyss controversy video. It does have a lot of issues that I don't agree with in this series that just don't belong in there but I do own volumes one through nine. The story's incredible. It's getting really confusing to keep track of what's going on because of the artwork the I believe the background is black instead of like white pages or it's like dark gray or something like that so it is very easy to get lost in the artwork so uh, just keep that in mind next we have hell's paradise volume one and we have sweat and soap volume one uh, sweat and soap was actually something that my uh, discord convinced me to pick up I have not checked it out yet uh, but that was during a right stuff sale hell's paradise I'm planning on getting some more volumes, but I only have volume one at the moment. Alrighty, and then the next shelf, let's start up here. These are actually some graphic novels. We have The Walking Dead, Compendium Volume 1 and 2, got these for a steal. Batman, The Killing Joke, just got that recently. Thought it was good, a little overrated from what people were saying about it. We have three volumes or omnis of The Boys, which I don't actually really recommend you guys get. I, I was not a fan of this. The show is so much better, um, at least from what I've read. And then we have Saga Hardcovers. This is incredible. This is one of the best stories that I own in this entire collection. This is a graphic novel, but it's, you know, if you read manga and you don't read graphic novels, I think you would still really, really enjoy these because I don't really read graphic novels. And this is one of the best stories, like I said, in my entire collection. Next, we have Erased Volumes 1 through 5. I got these because of how much I like the anime, but I have not actually actually started this in terms of manga. I heard that I hear the manga is better. The artwork's a little questionable. I, I don't think it's bad, but I think the artwork and the animation for the anime is just so good that it kind of throws me off a little bit. Uh, next we have 20th Century Boys. I have read the first two omnibuses. I sold my omnibuses because I got these singles, but I have not read all the way through yet because I don't own volumes 17 and 19, which are the two most expensive in the entire series. Don't ask me why, but they just unfortunately are, and I have not been able to find them or even find them for a decent price. Next we have Master Keaton, and we have MPD Psycho Volume 1. This is done by, it's drawn by Naoki Urasawa, but it's not actually written by him. Next we have Gundam The Origin. I'm on a mission to collect these but for as cheap as I physically can so that's as far under retail as I can so still working on that right now next we have goodnight pun pun this is complete volumes one through seven I'm about I think halfway through this I think I'm on no, I finished volume yeah I'm not halfway because I finished volume three so I'm on volume four I need to read on and then we have this right here because it's all the same mangaka but if you guys know me know my channel know how much I hate this story but I still have it because it's all the same manga in Iosano so the collector in me is keeping it for just the <laughs> in Iosano collection but uh, next we have dead of demons DDD destruction uh, volumes one through five need to collect some more of those but patient not really any rush uh, what a wonderful world volumes one and two this is complete I think volume one is out of print and kind of expensive right now but I, I don't think it's worth paying a lot of money for I don't hear great things about it but you know I'm, I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on that because I haven't uh, read it myself yet next we have downfall which is pretty depressing once again this is all in Yosano with Solon in that's one of his more famous works outside of goodnight pun pun or popular works I guess they're all kind of famous but Definitely one of his more popular works. And then Nijiahara Holograph, the hardcover. Also, don't hear fantastic things about this, but I'm really gonna read it all and just kind of leave my opinion myself on these works and not go by other people's. But once again, I if this is for retail, I would recommend picking it up, but if you have to pay $50, $60, I'd almost never recommend that, except in certain circumstances. And then talking about a couple series that are quite difficult to get some volumes of, 
Uh, we have Real Volumes 1 through 4. This is made by Inoue, which is the same manga who does Slam Dunk. But Real Volumes 2 and 3 are out of print and quite difficult to get. So if you see those, definitely grab those if you want to get the series. But I've heard amazing things. I've read some of Volume 1, but um, I want to read Slam Dunk before I read this. So still working on getting Slam Dunk, as you guys know. Bokurano Complete Volumes 1 through 11. Volume 3 is quite difficult to get. I think it goes for around $100. Um, but this is a fantastic series. If you guys can't get the anime, um, can't get the manga, I highly recommend checking out the anime just because it's it's the type of story that I think everyone should experience. Uh, next we have Fire Punch Volumes 1 through 8. Also finished this and this is complete. This is made by the same mangaka as Chainsaw Man. It has some similar similarities but it's also in my opinion just way more wild and just violent and confusing. It, a lot of things don't make a lot of sense but it's it's a really good ride. I, I highly recommend checking it out if you're into violent, but it does have some pretty uh, 18 plus content and themes, so keep that in mind. Next we have Blade of the Immortal. This is complete. Omnibus is 1 through 10, and then Judge Volume 1 up there, and then Judge 2 through 6, and Toyo Game. Doubt is over there, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So Blade of the Immortal, I actually just recently got all of them um, so that um, I'm very happy to to own these I think these are great editions but also you can get the hard covers if some of these are hard to get they do have hard covers of these but I hear incredible things about the story so I cannot wait to dive in judge I've already read and I recommend it if you're into I mean I don't like describing it as like saw because it's not but it's kind of like this death game that gets set up. And I believe Toyo Game is similar. I have not read Toyo Game yet. I'm still waiting on volume three. And then Doubt is similar to Judge. It's the same mangaka. But Toyo Game is not the same mangaka. I just have it over here because it kind of matches the colors. And then lastly, on this bottom shelf, we have Beastars volumes one through 11. I've read up to volume nine. I do need to read uh, nine and 10. Sorry, I do need to read 10 and 11. Next, we have Beast Complex, which I believe takes place before Beastars. Uh, we've rented Girlfriend volumes one through four. I might actually be getting getting rid of this. I hyped the series up and it was quite good, but I've heard from people that not a lot happens moving forward because there's already a ton of volumes out in Japan, so I don't know, I might be getting rid of that. Next we have Tokyo Ghoul volumes 1 through 14, and this is complete, so very happy to have this complete. I don't have the box set, but I got these for a steal, so that's all that matters to me. Uh, next we have Grand Blue Dreaming Volume 1 over there. That's the only volume I own from the series, but it is quite good from that one volume. Alrighty, and then moving on to this next shelf. Uh, this is the top of the shelf. We have some Tezuka manga. This is Doro Ayoko, Ayoko, Ayako, whatever it's pronounced. It's this is garbage. I highly recommend not picking this up. I haven't read this yet, um, but this is this is not good. Um, I haven't read these yet. I believe that's E3 or M E M M W. No, it's actually so that's actually M W. I always forget what it is. That's Tezuka, a book of human insects. I have not read, but I've heard good things about. Message to Adolf. I have read, and it is absolutely fantastic. I really, really recommend you check it out if you haven't already. It's also a manga that was, I mean, it was a manga that was going for a lot of money, but then got reprinted by Vertical once Kodansha bought them. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but if you can get it for retail, it's an incredibly good story. Next we have Onward Towards Our Noble Deaths. I was expecting more out of it. I'm not finished with it yet, but I'm about two thirds in. And I don't know, the premise sounded really cool, but it really just hasn't hit the mark with me yet, and it's been kind of slow. Uh, next we have Villain Saga 1-4. through four. I need to get some more of this, but I want to get it on sale. I'm not going to rush to pay retail, so I'll wait till right stuff goes on sale. Then we have Uzumaki, No Longer Human, the only Junji Ito manga I own. I think this is good. It's a little overrated, but it's really good. The artwork and everything, this is fantastic. I highly recommend this. This is a great adaptation of the light novel. Moving down, we have Lone Wolf and Cub, or sorry, New Lone Wolf and Cub 1 through 11, that is complete. Girls Last Tour, volumes one and three. And this is actually, well, sneak peek, you guys will probably see this before the haul, actually. But I picked up the first volume of Vagabond. I'm gonna be trying to collect these as they're getting kind of hard to find, and I do want to read the series. Uh, we have some anime, When They Cry, Grave of Fireflies, Ghost Stories, best anime that has ever been released. Uh, if you don't know about the Ghost Stories dub, look it up, because there is nothing better than this. Um, next we have Ajin. Uh, this actually came with a volume and a alternate cover. Jesus, heavy. This is it right here. This is pretty sick. I got this for like $10 because of some crazy deal online. Uh, so it's the manga and anime upside down, whatever. But there's a volume of manga in here also, which is just a alternate cover. Very cool. And then for 10 bucks, it's, it's 
And for 10 bucks, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And like I said, I will show you guys what's behind these, but I'll just go down because there are some other double stacks. So moving down, we have Gantz Volume 1. This is the Omnibus. Probably going to collect an Omnibus edition. They're really not that bad. People keep complaining, complaining, but I'm not paying $1,500 for a single set. And then we have Blood on the Tracks Volume 1, one through one through 4. I am caught up online with this series, and it is incredible. This is a Shuzo Oshimi manga, and he's one of my favorite mangas. You guys will see behind this stack how much more manga I have from him. And if you haven't read Shuzo Oshimi, I highly recommend it if you're into horror manga slash psychological manga. It's just fantastic. Next, we have Portis, which is an interesting manga. It's like the ring, but video games. It's not bad. It's only a one shot, but it also has a very, very cool cover. I think this is actually one of the coolest covers that I own. This is also... You guys might be able to see it, but it's like 3D, it pops out. Next we have Hero Man Volume 1. Literally don't know anything about this series. I only picked it up because it was five bucks and it was created by Stan Lee. RIP. Next we have Ray. This is a older manga made by made by ADV, which probably is not even in business anymore. I have not read this yet, but I picked it up because it was super cheap and it looked really interesting. The premise, the artwork also looked really good, but uh, yeah. Basically, this girl who was... Alright, so I had to clear my uh, camera storage. But Ray, basically, from what I know, is this girl who's basically born for her organs, and she has, like, some power. I don't know, it's pretty cool. I'm not here. Next, we have Blood Blockade Battlefront, or BB3, BBB. A lot of people call it different, different things, but we have it almost complete. It looks like we're just missing volumes 7 and 8. Uh, this is quite a hard manga to get, apparently. I don't know much about the series, I just know I was able to collect a decent amount of it through one of the stores around me for like 5 bucks a volume, and then the other volumes I got for actually around the same price, all for about $5. So yeah, definitely really cool to check this out, although I hear the manga is not that great. I hear the anime is very good, and it's actually better than the manga, so I don't know what to see. Next we have Drifters, Volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'm missing Volume 4, which is annoying because I thought I had it complete, but then a couple weeks ago I realized, oh, I'm actually missing Volume 4, so need to work on that. It's actually not finished. It's on hiatus, which I don't know if it'll ever come off of, but whatever. Next we have Solo Leveling, the light novel, and we have the graphic novel, no, Manwa, which is actually, this is a Korean series, very, very popular, just came out recently. Uh, Zom 100, which is incredible, uh, first volume, really, really good, just enjoyable first volume, uh, not incredible, but quite really enjoyable. Uh, next we have Avant Garde Yumiko, this is actually a self-print volume, which some of you guys may not like, so I'm actually gonna put this back. I'm not gonna get to the details, I'm not gonna even talk about how I got it or anything like that, but this is a Shuzo Oshimi manga, like I said, I'm a huge fan of Shuzo Oshimi, and there are a couple series that I don't think are going to get printed in English from him, so I was gifted this volume. Next we have uh, Mob Psycho 100, Volume 1 and 2, and Sundome Volume 1 and 3. This is a very expensive series, also a very degenerate series, we'll just leave it at that. Next we have Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Supreme Plate, which is actually very, very strange plate. Then we have Prophecy Volumes 1 through 3 out of order, working on this currently on Volume 1. We have a Gone box set, which some of you guys may be familiar with, maybe you're not, but this is actually a Italian box set. I don't recommend buying this, I'm not even sure if it's available right now. Uh, but this has come damaged to me three times from Italy, so I just kept this one. It's not in great condition, but it's in, you know, some of the better condition out of the other three box sets. So it is what it is, but here is JoJo's part one, part two, part three, and some of part four. And I mean, if this doesn't come damaged, it is a incredible box out, really, really cool, very unique. It's only three volumes, um, but if it does come damaged, that um, is, is just really, really annoying. And I apologize, it does get a little darker over here, but uh, we have Doubt 1 and 2, which I showed you guys, and then we have Ikigami, which I've talked about so many times, you guys are probably sick of me talking about it if you're already a subscriber. But volumes one through 10, that is complete. We have Die Dark, which is the newest manga by the creator of Dora Hidoro, which is complete right there. Volumes 1 through 23, I'm about halfway there, as you can see my bookmark. I'm on volume 13, um, so still working on it. But this is a series which I highly recommend you binge and you don't read some and then put it down and take a break because it gets, it's really, really confusing if you try to pick it up again. And then down here on this bottom shelf, we have One Piece, volumes uh, 1 through 35 down here, it's like freaking triple stacked, uh, we have volumes back there, I'm not going to move these, but 
all the way up to volume 74. I got these volumes for probably, I don't know, 60 cents a volume. I got a crazy deal on a ton of Shonen Jump volumes and that kind of stuff. I got like 270 volumes for an absolute steal. And I actually have a haul from a couple months ago if you guys want to watch that. But yeah, so ton of One Piece down there. And then actually going back up to the shelf, we have Monster. So it goes all the way along the Urasawa. Uh, we have Monster Complete Volumes 1 through 9. Absolutely incredible series. I highly recommend the series to anyone who is into a darker kind of psychological crime ish manga, but especially new manga readers. Next, we have Pluto, which is almost complete, meaning missing a couple volumes. I have not read this, but I've heard great things. We have Asadora Volume 1. Uh, I'm going to read this once I get Volume 2, but I've also heard really good things. And then the Drifting Classroom, which is one of my favorite series. It's just a really, really good series. And you guys may notice, but uh, the tone of my collection is kind of darker series. So uh, if you're into like I said, darker series is also really, really good. Highly, highly recommend this. And then hiding behind that first deck, we have all the Oshimi manga. So we have Happiness Volumes 1 through 10. Uh, Inside Mari, Volume 1 through 6. I think 7's out. I need to grab that. Uh, Flowers of Evil Omnibus. This is 1 through 4 complete. And then the Flowers of Evil Singles, which is complete. I actually bought these first, read them all, and then I had an opportunity to get these for really, really cheap. So I grabbed these. I don't know what exactly I'm doing. I didn't expect to get Volume 10, but I was able to get Volume 10. So I'm not sure if I'm keeping these or selling these. I I'm not exactly sure yet, but... Uh, as of right now, I do own both versions. Uh, next, we have Cube Arts Volume 1 and then Drifters Japanese Volume 1. And once again, there's really no order to this. Like, I just have some things just wherever because I'm really just showing you guys how bad this setup is. And then in the future, when you guys see the new setup, and it'll just be, you know, you can see everything. It'll be all probably white billies or whatever. You will see an absolutely drastic change, but I think it will be very, very cool. And then the last shelf, which is definitely the most disorganized shelf, uh, but some of the craziest series that I own, um, this shelf I shouldn't even own anymore, but I've basically just gotten to the point where I'm pushing it to its absolute limits and am going to get rid of it very, very soon. But we have Death Note, Black Editions, Complete, very, very good editions. I think it's the best editions, personally. I think it's very, very cool. Next, we have Kaiji, Volumes 1 and 2, Satoshi Kon's Opus, fantastic series. Planetess, Volumes 1 and 2, Biomega, 1 through 4, I believe that's complete. Blame, we're missing, I think, Volume 4 and Volume 1, but we have like two Volume 10s. I don't know. Noise, which is a expensive copy. It's a, either comes before or after Blame. I don't know. It's only one volume. And then the Blame Master Edition Volume 1. So a lot of the series you see on the shelf are stuff that I get for retail or under that go for over retail. So I don't pay a lot of money for these volumes. I kind of pride myself on getting them for as cheap as physically possible and not pay over retail for most of these. And these are double stacked. You'll see, you know, I'll move these out of the way so you guys can see. But uh, we have Eden. It's an Endless World Volumes 1 through 5 and then 7, 12, and 14. So I'm missing a couple volumes, but actually pretty close with this. And I've got and all these for I believe retail or under uh, what's retail 29 I think I paid $15 for a couple of these but very very close to retail we also have Mushishi which I got for uh, way under um, way under market price which is very very cool so I appreciate you Nitro let's see BTO I own a couple volumes of decent amount of volumes actually got these all for really really good prices got these all for retail under from what I remember let's see three through 9, 10, 11, 12, 3 through... 15, 16? I don't know. It's, it's pretty, we're getting pretty close to the end with 19, 20, and 21. Uh, some of the end volumes are really expensive. I think it goes up to 25, and that's 24 and 25 are pretty expensive. But uh, collecting slowly, I'm in no rush for any of these series. Like I said, it's easy to go ahead and go on eBay and just pay a ton of money to collect these, but that's not, that's not how I do things. And that's not how I recommend things either. Um, that can definitely get out of hand and uh, just really, really bad. Next, we have GTO, 14 Days of Shonen, uh, 1 through 3. And then four, five, nine, and nine. I have an extra nine by accident. I actually didn't mean for that to happen. Next, we have King of Wolves, Giganto Maxia, or Giganto Maxia. These are both made by the mangaka Kentaro Mura, who does Berserk. You'll see Berserk is behind here. I'll show you guys just a little uh, clip afterwards. But next, we have Old Boy. I apologize for the glare. I'm trying to get around the glare. But now it's a little dark. Uh, 1 through 8, this is complete. I believe Volume 8 is the only one that's decently expensive. I haven't read this yet, uh, but I hear from some people they like the movie better and the manga is not that great. I don't know, we'll have to see, but... Uh, GTO The Early Years Volume 1 and then GTO uh, The Early Years Volume 15. And then, I mean, I'm not going to show you guys the, the whole set, but behind here we do have all of Berserk, almost all of Berserk. 
up to volume 35. I need to get uh, 35 to 40. But yeah, and these are all matching DMP spines. It's not gonna focus, but you guys can see that. And then moving on down, we have It's a Orbito Volume 1. Uh, we have Bleach, so this whole thing is all Bleach. Almost complete, again, it goes up to Volume volume 58. Uh, and then we have Dr. Stone. I mean, every there's so much stuff just kind of packed in. We have Gigant. Volume 1 through 3. This is the same mangaka as Gantz. Uh, we have Loop in the 3rd, World's Most Wanted, Volume 3, Bleach up there. And we have Loop in the 3rd, Volumes 1 through 5. I believe the mangaka for the series actually passed away, uh, so RIP to the mangaka. But um, yeah, definitely interested to uh, get started with this. This is recent pickup. A lot of these things are recent pickups, or I'm still working to collect them. Uh, next, we have the Shaman King Omnibus. This actually came from Manga Spice Cafe, so shout, shout out to them for sending that out. That's super, super dope. But we'll be getting into that soon. Next this is Astro Lost in Space Volumes 1 through 5. Fantastic series. Highly recommend that uh, to anyone, actually. It's kind of like Among Us, but not, not exactly like Among Us. I wouldn't go into it thinking like that. Next, we have Act Age Volumes 1 and 2. This is a series that I got because basically I had opportunities to purchase them for retail. I heard the series is very, very good. I do have a friend who is really into the series, unfortunately. The mangaka had some really bad issues and got arrested. So unfortunate for readers, but uh, fortunate for the victims of the manga, obviously. Uh, next we have One Punch Man Volumes 1 through 6. Uh, Demon Slayer Volume 1. Wait for the box set if I cop that. Uh, Demon uh, Spy Family Volumes 1 through 4. Really good series. Chainsaw Man Volumes 1 through 4. An incredible series. Jujutsu Kaisen 0, 1, and 7. I need more volumes of this. I, I'm slacking, honestly, and I can't I cannot find these volumes anywhere. I, any store I go into, there's not even one Jujutsu Kaisen volume. They just are not printing them as quick as they need to. And then Moriarty Volumes 1 through 3. Just picked up 3 recently. I've read 1 and 2. Uh, I need to read this. I actually hear incredible things about this volume, so really excited to, to read that. And then, yeah, all of this is just bleach behind here so you guys are probably very familiar with bleach there's no other volumes other than bleach next we have some interesting volumes on this shelf so we have to your eternity and golden kamoi volume one apple seed 234 id uh, i haven't read this but i probably would recommend picking it up i've heard not great things um, but i heard those after i ended up picking it up uh, we have Shortcuts by Usamaru for Yua, which is actually the manga who did the original adaptation of No Longer Human's uh, light novel or novel. Uh, next we have Beck, Mongolian Chop, Scott, Chop Squad. Uh, this is a music manga or, you know, music genre manga. Uh, one, two, and four. Next we have Future Diary Volumes 1 through 6. I believe that's complete in English. I think there's a 7th volume in Japan, but they never printed it in English, so that's unfortunate. Then we have Batum Volumes 3, 6, and 8. This is an expensive series. Even retail, it's expensive, so collecting very, very slow. Day the Lives of High School Boys. Still need to check that out. Crying Freeman, I got for a fantastic deal, so I get just Volume 5 of that. I got some more to collect. Cats of the Louvre, The Summon of the Gods, Phoenix Volumes 11 and 3 I got for, once again, incredible deals. I think I got this for like $3, and then I got that for retail. Next we have Undead Messiah, Volume Volumes 1, and then we have The Fox and Little Tanuki, Volume 1. Shout out to Jake the Pog for sending that out. Next we have Attack on Titan, 24 through 32. I have all the way up to 32, that's what's behind here and behind here. But let me move these out of the way because there's actually... Alrighty, so behind that section we actually have Banana Fish Volumes 1 through 19. But I am missing at least one volume. Let's see. I am missing Volume 16. And once I have that, that will be complete. And I will be able to start that. But I do not want to start it without Volume 16 because Volume 16 is kind of expensive. Alrighty, and this down here, this is not good. This is... We're almost done with the shelves. This is the last, like, shelf, I guess you could say. It's not good. It's a lot of disorganization because with this bookcase, I'm missing missing like at least two or maybe even three shelves that I could have. So that's a shelf right here, a shelf right here, and a shelf right here. I think you could probably fit three more in this bookcase. So unfortunately it's kind of old and I just have this space down here where it's just empty space. So I decided just to stack the manga over here. Uh, but we have uh, Living Stone Volumes 1 through 4, Q, uh, Soul Eater. We have Ace Attorney, which is actually kind of expensive manga based off the video game. We have Dragonair Academy, which 
I forgot I even still own. That is from Base Senpai. He sent that to me for free, so um, shout out to him for sending me some garbage. The girl, uh, the gods lie. Land of the Lustrious, uh, Kakiguri, uh, Barefoot Gen, and Mouse volumes one and two. I apologize if the lighting's not fantastic and it's a little grainy down here, but via Pandora Hearts volumes one through five. I believe those were actually sent to me for free, which is very very cool. But that was a long time ago, so I apologize. I, I can't remember uh, the name of the person who sent that, but shout out to um, the person who sent me that. Next we have I want to eat your pancreas. Um, I believe it's Maji. I always forget how to pronounce that. Uh, Tomodachi X Monster, sorry, to Tomodachi Monster 1 through 3 complete. Really, really good series um, in terms of just like being unique. The ending's not great, but it's a very unique series. Uh, it's like Pokemon, but like realistic and just a lot of crazy death. Next, we have Spice and Wolf Manga Volumes 1 through 6. Uh, Lone Wolf and, uh, sorry, Sound Voice 1, th 1 and 3. All You Need is Kill, uh, which is a one shot. Uba Blot Volume 1. I need Volume 0 to start it. Children of the Sea Volume 1 and 2. And then over here, we have Bobo Bo 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 Bo. Volumes 1 and 2, we have Attack on Titan, Lost Girls, Volume 2, in No Regrets, Volume 1. We have Gurren Lagan Volume 1, by Bandai. Uh, Gantz, Volume 1 and 13, or 34. Uh, Scientific Railgun, Volume 1. Uh, Real Account, Volumes 1 through 8, really, really good series. Uh, Ultimo, Volumes 1 through 3. Mujo and Roji, Volumes 1. And Case Closed, a lot of volumes. I think all of these... Yeah, I don't want these towers to, to collapse, but I mean, you guys can see if I move this, this is basically all stacked to the top of Case Closed. So I have up to Volumes 43. And Case Closed, I had got, once again, these were like 50 cents a volume. And then lastly, we have two boxes of manga, which I just don't have homes for. To have Attack on Titan Anthology, because it's basically a bunch of comic and graphic novel artists and whatnot just writing their own kind of side stories for Attack on Titan. It's pretty cool. Then we have Full Metal Alchemist hardcovers volumes 1, three, one through 3 right here. And once I don't have a good setup for this, so this is like really disorganized, but it is what it is. Uh, next we have Aroni Kenshin Volume 1 in the Omnibus. And then we have Black Butler 1 through 5. We have Yotsuba random volumes I got at the thrift store 1, 2, 3, 6, and 10. And then we have some more Black Butler Volumes 6 through 10. And then we have Boruto Volumes 1 through 6 and uh, Neuro Rise of the Yokai Yoka Clan Volumes 1 and 7. So once again, these are not like bad series. These are just series that I simply don't have room for right now. I don't have Billy bookcases. I have small bookcases which are unadjustable shelves so I'm very very limited in what I have in terms of uh, space and bookshelves but once I have Billy, Billy bookshelves like all this like double stacking and stuff will completely go out the window and it'll look like a lot less chaotic and then let me show you guys this one last box of manga which is mostly singles or like three volumes per series so I also don't have these out so I'm just gonna go through these quickly we have Rao Grad uh, volume one I think uh, High School of the Dead, we have Get Backers, Neon Genesis, Yu Yu Hakusho Volume 1, Lone Volume 1, Servamp 1 through 4, we have Toto, uh, Shaman King, a bunch of Shaman King volumes, uh, 1 through 7 or something like that, 1 through 6, yeah like 1 through 6 plus 17, 16, 17, it's all library copies, I'm probably not going to hang on to these, probably will be getting rid of these. Then we have Bakuman, the Japanese Volume 1. Uh, switch we have barrage which barrage is actually made by the same mangaka as my hero academia i think yeah i believe this is the same manga as my hero academia i think he actually did this before my hero then we have uh two Toriko volumes uh yu hakusho volume two and another volume one uh dr slump witch buster uh devil's a part-timer food wars uh world trigger sandland Yomamushi Petal, and then Dokoid. Alrighty, so that's gonna be it for this collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This, like I said, very, very chaotic. It starts off not so chaotic, and then it just kinda gets more and more and more by the end. It's like just a couple cardboard boxes of manga. So, like I said, this is the last collection video where it's gonna be in this setting. I will be doing a reorganization video when I do get all Billy, Billy bookcases. It, right now, this looks like a lot of stuff, and it is, but when you get Billy, Billy bookcases and everything is just laid out there normally, it doesn't look like quite as much when you don't have to double stack and stuff like that. But I have like small shelves, the one behind me, the one next to me, that is just very, very limited in terms of space and how much manga you can put on the shelves. And personally, I hate double stacking. I hate lying down flat. I hate all of that, but I, you just gotta do what you gotta do. 
If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. And also, let me know how many volumes you have in your collection, whether it's, you know, 10 volumes, 100 volumes, 1,000 volumes, 5,000 volumes. I'm curious what people are, you know, collecting and, you know, what people's collections look like. And before I end the video, I just want to plug the Discord down below if you want to come out and hang and chill, talk about manga, anime, or just whatever. I have text channels for a bunch of stuff. It's really just a very chill time. Also, write some affiliate link down below. If you guys want to purchase anything from the web, Website, I do get a kickback of like 2% so would really appreciate that a lot of you guys use that link so that's awesome thank you guys so much for that also we're on the road for 10,000 subscribers so once we reach there once we reach there we will be doing a giveaway it'll be probably like an Amazon and write stuff and it'll be a pretty decent giveaway I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it it will be also available to non US viewers so if you live outside the country I will make sure that uh, we have something for you whether it's book depository or Amazon or something like that so yeah thank you guys so much for anyone who has lasted this long and watched the entire video throughout you are a real one also leave that down in the comments if you have watched this all the way through. I will see you guys later. Peace out.